Welcome back to Jurassic World, the game! And uh, uh, I've got a code 19 or whatever it's called. And also, this, there's a new thing, but before we do that, I've got to do this thing. Ooh, Ankylodocus. <gasps> we got 15 Super Raptor DNA to get here. That means that this is going to be an incredibly hard one to do. <laughs> oh, Lord. Are you ready? It's going to test me reflexes. Let's go. Is it gonna be- oh, no it's not. Oh, 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 like a pro, like a pro. Like a boss. Does he still do that? Oh, 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 oh yeah. Oh, we can do it, we can do it, we're gonna do it. Oh, okay, okay. oh no, I'm not good. Ah! No! <laughs> I missed the last one. Okay, two more, two more, two more. Yeah, I can do these. Super, super slow. What was that? Why was that so slow? Okay, there we go. Yes, come on, if we get into the green, we get 15. Come on, it'll be a last little one, one on the bottom. Yep, there it is. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah! Okay, I was like two off, and I could have got like loads more DNA. But we didn't do too bad at all. We should have got, yeah, 15 Super Raptor DNA. So hello, uh, welcome back. My god, I just thought I'd stop the, um, like, I, I, I opened the app and I was like, you know what, I'll, I'll, I'll continue watching whatever podcast I'm watching. Give it a minute, get, get warmed up, because it's freezing cold in this room. Ooh. But no, the game was like, no, you're getting a code 19. Now, some people have told me that they haven't even got a single code 19 yet, so I don't, I don't know what's up with that. Maybe you want to try updating the game, check in the app store if it's, uh, if it's updated or anything. Um... But yeah, um, yeah, that, that's a thing. <laughs> yes, we were on here. That's what I was going to do. I was just, oh, hello. Celebrate our 200th dinosaur. Oh, well, technically, Lydia, it isn't a dinosaur. It's a creature, and it isn't really a real creature. It's a hybrid. Meaning, it's more of an abomination. But I collected how much? 200 Super Raptor DNA. Oh, my God. We're like... 312 DNA away from uh, another Indoraptor, which means we'll get a level 20 Indoraptor, probably putting it in the top five of our dinosaur roster team, I would imagine. Sorry if I sniff a little bit. Ooh, when it's cold, I sniff. So there it is. They have 200 creatures in the game, including hybrids. And this is the first ever Cenozoic hybrid. And yes, we're still gonna um, ignore that bongo-looking creature that was like Entelodon and... Megalosaurus, I think it was something like that. Um, so this is basically the Dunkleosaurus, the Mosasaur Dunkleosaurus, uh, uh, Cenozoic version, the Mammoth and the Enosaurus, I think it is. Um, and good news is I have been in my own spare time uh, putting the Dunkleosaurus into its incubation. And this is the last one. This is level 40. The max it could be. And oh, it's like I knew it was going to be done first time. <laughs> So, we now have a maxed Dunkleosaurus. Although, uh, we're not going to put that in the thumbnail and title because I'm not going to feed it just yet. But look at it. Look at it there. Beautiful. So, we're just going to ignore that for the time being because that's not what we're here for. Ooh, and I've got other things. Oh, God, no. No. Oh, oh. Did that count? Have we, have we... Oh, we must have participated in it. Collect one item. That'll do. Right. So, we've still got to do um, the world event classified. Um... I've got to do this VIP exclusive, and we've got to do the glacier shifts, which unfortunately, look at that. Oh my god, that attack um, means we can't use that creature yet. But, ooh, I'm going to open up another pack. There you go. Look at that. I have to scroll to freaking get to it. Bloody man. Damn dirty tactics. Jeez. So I'm going to see if I have any custom trades to do. No, I don't. However, trading a prion suit just for 600 bucks, yeah, I may as well do it. Uh, anything else? Uh, yeah, I'll trade that for DNA. Yeah, sure. Um, loyalty points for DNA. Nope. Coin for DNA. Hell yeah. Remember, we're, we're, we've finally done the um, the Dunkleosaurus, and we had to spend so much DNA on that creature. We had to sell some dinosaurs. Um, and we still have like 92,000 left. However, we're going to go into here, into the Cenozoic area. <laughs> yes, Mr. Papoosh, but you're not what we're looking for today. Today, the mammoth, the big one. We're going to be fusing that with a Enos. I think it's a, not Enos, no, um, 
Uh, Elasma Theorem. I think it's an Elasma Theorem. So, I'm gonna go into Fuse, and there it is. Oh, he looks so tiny! <laughs> Why is he so small? The Elasma Theorem. Okay, so 580 bucks. You know what? 80 bucks. I'm fine. I'll, I'll, we'll, we'll get it. We'll get this creature. And it looks bloody horrendous. I don't know who's in charge of designing whatever this uh, creature looked like, but... Ooh. <laughs> No, couldn't have just like made a unicorn, like a unicorn mammoth, shorter tusks, a huge horn in the middle of its head, shortened it down. This, it's got like a monk haircut and everything, it's, look at it, look at it, it's hideous. There you go, and it's available in the dynamo, dinosaur market, so there it is, look at it there, isn't it weird? So 1,582 health, 824 attack. And when we get to level 10, 2,373 health and 1,236 attack. Not making it as good as a mammoth because it is like a tournament creature um, with a regular super rare. But a level 20 it will be. So I think we should get it to level 20. Uh, it does cost 60, 67,000. And at level 40, 8,767 health and 4,566 um, attack. So I kind of want to check. If we go to hybrids... 68,000, um, and it's 7,000, 3,000, okay, uh, hybrids, 7,000, so this, actually, this is worth it, you get, like, a thousand, over a thousand more health, and over a thousand more attack, and it costs, what, hold on, um, 68,320, 67,000, so it's, it's, it's like a thousand and a bit less, and it's well worth it, so we're definitely gonna get one of those, we'll speed it up, just because they've deliberately <laughs> timed that special event of the cooldown to um, coincide with the release of this creature. Very clever, I see. Very good. I like it. Because we don't. Uh, technically, I don't have to spend money on that. That's just um, a nice little helpful hand that they've given me. So this makes it worthwhile. Uh, if I just kept it level 10, I've lost my mammoth and I don't have a good, a better creature. I wouldn't use my Elasmatherium, but at least with this one, I will use it. So at level 11, 3,076 health, 1,602 attack. And at level 20, uh, 4,065 health and 2,117 attack. And it gets a little bit of dirt on its underneath. Beautiful. Uh, what do we have? Claim three. Well, I need all the food I can get. 30,000 for that. This hybrid's mammoth fur makes it more suited for snow than its ancestor Anasmatherium. And I don't know how much... That looked like 200,000 food. The heavy horn and tusks of the Mammotherium require its neck and shoulders to be incredibly strong. Well, actually, its tusks aren't too big. Its horn is actually smaller than the Elasmatheriums as well, actually. Um, so there you have it. Elasmatherium. No, no, the Mammotherium, whatever you want to call it. But um, what we'll do is we'll have a look at it in the Glacier uh, VIP. So we'll do a regular challenge. Um, can we change it up just to be Cenozoics? Yeah, there you go, and we'll put it up to rarity. So there you go. In comparison to the Titana Boa, it has a little bit more health and a lot more attack. Um, and I don't think the Mammoth really had more attack than Titana Boa. Um, it, I think it had like a thousand and odd attack, but like five thousand health. So it's really, really good. Um, so, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna do that. Then we're gonna do Mammotherium, securing the victory. So we should be, I mean, the bot will probably average out what our team is and then make something to combat it, I would assume. Um, that kind of is, because there's an Allosaurus level three. <laughs> but we do have a Roger Stager to can contend with first. Oh, and he's gonna go for it. Yeah, um, that's the poor little Amphichoon or Amphisoon. Didn't start much, there it is. Oh. Beautiful. So, 2,000 attack. So, we go for two hits and kill it. Now, the reason why I'm not going for any blocks whatsoever is because the Sarkasukas can't kill me in two hits. Now, what I'm going to do for the next turn is switch out into um, Andrew Sarkas, I think it is. Oh, oh, look at him there. Look at him. He knows all the names. So, he's going to have three and he knows that two. Oh, he's got four. Never mind. He's going to go for two, knowing that two can kill me. So he's got two block. Uh, we can kill him in one, I think? Is it? Oh, <laughs> yes, it is. So he's got two block. Um, we have to go for three. 
And I can go for one reserve. He didn't block for anything. Now, in a normal circumstance, this would be bad. Also, look! Different animation. They've changed the, so like, the crocodilian animation. Usually, they throw themselves up. Like, straight up and then flip over and fall on their back. But now they don't. Ooh, six attack from an Allosaurus. I'm getting va Gawanji vibes here. Valley of Gawanji. <laughs> If you've never seen the Valley of Guanji, I highly suggest you watch it. it it'll, it'll just give you a sense of what um, society's view on dinosaurs were before Jurassic Park came out. They screeched, they stood upright, and they fought elephants. <laughs> no, that's great. I love that movie. Um, there it is. Eight. So let's see the eight attack. Oh, what was that? That was a power. That was a hero shot. That's a hero shot. And there you go. Allosaurus dead. Yes, killed by the mighty Mammotherium. He looks tiny now. And we get a little... We get a chance to spin on the Wheel of Fortune. You know, doesn't this class as gambling? I was thinking. You know how you have loot crates and stuff? And now, like, every, every sort of game is, like, not allowed to put them in because it classes as gambling? Now... Oh, no. No, 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 no. So the thing is, right... If that doesn't count as gambling, I can understand. But technically, doesn't this count as gambling? Just putting it out there. Because, I don't know, Lydia, you might want to reconsider this whole system. <laughs> now that, like, you've got the whole crackdown on gambling and all that jazz. This is, I mean, it's a raffle, technically, because you get tickets, I suppose. And maybe that's how they've already thought about it and got around it. I don't know, just some, just some food for thought. I'm not trying to get you in trouble, Ludi. I was just wondering if you'd actually thought about that. But anyway, we're going to win a golden pack VIP exclusive event. Um, what should we go for? Right, these are incredibly, incredibly powerful creatures to the point where it's almost impossible to beat them. But remember the tactic, guys. Put in really bad creatures. No, it doesn't have to be really bad. You can put in a team of really good, really good creatures. Now, we need to have a dinosaur that doesn't have a weakness. Remember, even if they put in three different types, you can still put in a species that doesn't, that isn't, to, isn't weak to one of them. So if we were to try carnivore, nope, amphibians got the advantage. If we were to put in an amphibian, like, um, oh god, where are they? Uh, Super Kool-Aid. No, Rampharynchus has the advantage. If we put in a herbivore, like a Patasaurus, no, T-Rex has got the advantage. No, what we need to do is put in a flyer. And luckily for us, we have a Metrophoton. Yes, <laughs> so we're going to do that. Sorry, is this early learning with the beaver? What do we not put in? Carnivores. <laughs> so we're going to go for one reserve straight away. Um, just because he's going to go for all out two, knowing that two can kill us. And we've only got possibility of one block. Uh, which is really good for us, because we almost kill it in one hit. Do you remember when it would almost be 10,000 attack for Metrophodon before it got the nerf? Ah, them were the days. So I'm going to go for one block here, just to make sure that I don't die, because I'm pretty sure T-Rex has, like, 3,000 attack? Level 3, almost 4,000. 347. You know, they should get crazier and crazier. So this T-Rex should be, like, have, like, spikes that are out the ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> That's what do. The higher level. So we're going to go for two attacks, one block. Oh, well, you know, not too bad. One hit, one more to kill him. Not bad. He's got three. He's uh, he's definitely going to go for that, I think. Yeah, because two kills me. So you know what we're going to do? We're just going to ignore that. We're, we're going to X out. <laughs> I was hoping he wasn't going to go for the block. Um, I could have done this legit. I could have just went for uh, one block and two reserves. And that way he would not have instantly went for the attack. Um... But, you know, who cares? I, <laughs> I want to win the pack. If I get the pack, that means I get more stuff. Um, so I'm going to switch. Oh, do I switch in? No, I don't. Okay. So I'm going to go for that. If he does go for one block, which he does in this time, interestingly enough. Um, when Rampharyngus comes in, it's going to have like five or six attack. So it has five. So I'm, oh, I'm just going to exit out knowing that he's going to go for three. Oh, that's a cool shot of Metropolon. Look at that wide body angle shot. You know, at least when you when it comes to making thumbnails, you sort of realize what makes a good thumbnail. Because it's like, no, that doesn't look right. But that one there, ooh, that would have been pretty decent. So, 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 so. We're going to go for, what do we go for? Should we just go for five all out? I think we just go for five all out. Oh, no, we don't. He went for all out block. Never mind. <laughs> What a mess this episode is. Uh, unfortunately, turning into... Um, oh my god, I've still got a really snotty nose. Oh, jeez. 
Winter, man. Winter. I'm, I'm, I don't have a cold or anything. It's just, it's just the climate. It, it does things to you. So I'm going to switch into my Tujongosaurus. Tujongosaurus. Is it Tujong? Tujong. Mijong. Um, oh, wow. We didn't even go for an attack. Well, sod it. We can just go for four block, four reserves. He's got six, and I think that's attacking numbers. Six, is, six usually means they attack. They don't waste that. And it goes for three. Okay, so he's got three block. So... We should go for a full-on eight attack with Tijongasaurus. Ha <laughs> ha! No, 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 no. No, we go for seven with Metropodon. And, oh, how much damage is that going to do? Let's have a look. 80,000. Probably would have done 100,000 if we'd gone for the eight. Or if, you know, we, you know, we had that eight. So there it is. The golden rewards, which is basically the legendary pack, because they don't make those anymore. They were slowly phased out, thing we wouldn't notice. And a T-Rex. Not bad at all. But really what we're here for is the loyalty points. 1,300 taking us to almost 130,000. So we, ooh, what have we got? We've got the herbivores, the car, carnivore, what's this one? This is just clocked over of 10 minutes ago. I'm recording this video, this is just clocked over. Oh, that's cool. Um, so we do have the carnivore, carn, sorry, the carnage of carnivores. So you know what, we may as well do this one. Um, not gonna go for anything too crazy. Um, just because as this event goes on, we're going to have to use stronger and stronger herbivores. So already, boosh. Almost half health gone. And go for the free attack. You see, I would love to do Jurassic World Alive videos more frequently. Um, but the thing is, I always I feel like there's nothing to... Like, the things that are going on in the game, you, you have to, like, go... Or you have to go outside and collect the stuff. That's what's going on. It's like, new dinosaurs are out, um, like, on the event... Uh, uh, drops, yes, <laughs> the poker stops, and then there's like stuff to pick up, like presents and stuff at the moment because it's Christmas and uh, they've got a cool Christmas event. So there's nothing, it's not like this game where I can just sit down and we can do a special battle event because even if there's battles, you have to go out and do the battles. And the only thing you can technically do while sat in one position is do the incubator battles, and um, that's it pretty much. So I'm gonna go for a Stegosaurus and then an Amargosaurus. I'm going to go for one reserve here. Um, can he kill me? He might be able to kill me in two. Oh! Oh, he doesn't. Plates for days. God, that's a blast from the past, isn't it? <laughs> oh, somebody on Twitter sent me a picture that they had drawn. And it was all of the nicknames. It was awesome. I'd almost forgotten some of them. Captain Levi was one of them that I forgot. I was like, oh my god. Shark lawnmower. How could I forget that? I had a bloody t-shirt I designed with that on. <laughs> Oh, James, you are old. So one, two, and then factor one extra, and then we'll go for two blocks just in case. Didn't go for it. Boom. Ostrophicosaurus has less attack, I think. It does even <laughs> level 20. <laughs> Good lord. You're pathetic. Do you know that, you rubbish? So we're going to go for seven attack, because two can kill him. We could go for six, but uh, even if he went for the four block. <laughs> Bam. Beautiful, yeah, still a weird lighting glitch on Amargosaur. There's a couple of dinosaurs that have that. I know the the newest one for um, the aquatic, like the Elasmosaurid, uh, whatever it is. It's It's got like the long neck. Um, it's like Muai or Kuai, whatever it's called. <laughs> oh, two herbivores now. Ah, well, you know what? I think that's good enough. I don't even need to use Segna Sutures. I'm going to save that. I'm going to go for one um, reserve right off the bat. He might even switch, actually. I mean, it would be a bit silly if he did, because they're all carnivores. And I don't... Actually, yeah. Yeah, it would be a bit silly. I think Dimetrodon has less attack than the rest. I'm not sure, though. Well, there it is. There's two. Boom. And I think he's only got two block. Probably only one. So I'm going to go for three. Oh, he didn't even go for any. Awesome. So the evil rage... Oh no, never mind, Demetrodon did have uh, the most attack, I think. Because Spinosaurus is not an attack tank. Um, attack tank? Oh my god. It, it has no attack. It's, it's mainly like a health tank. Uh, I'm going to go for three just in case he went for one block. We're cheated. Push. And there it is. Spinosaurus has a little bit more health, but not really. So this is interesting. This isn't. This battle event's not necessarily aimed for me, just because those creatures aren't too tough. Although, he has killed one. <laughs> That's an anchor dock is level 40. But Alumbia, level 30. Finally got it to level 30. And I, I think I need to buy three more. Um, and then I can make a level 40. I may as well. Because level 40 would be so much better. But we want to save our DNA 
for um, all of the mammotheriums. So we'll do another episode and we'll max out the um, Dunkleosaurus. So not this episode, don't worry, but it will come. If you leave enough likes, if you get this video to 5,000 likes, then I'll make it. So now that we've got the incubation free, there was something I was wanting to do. That's right. It was the, um, it was in here. It was the, the, the birdie bird. No, go away, man. <laughs> it's, oh, wait, who's buzzing us? Wait, nobody? Nope. What? Why is it buzzing? Okay. Oh, okay. Well, my phone's just buzzing anyway. Yes, we wanted to, uh, <gasps> he's got to run, run, run. No. No. Oh. Yum, yum, yum. I'm surprised they didn't animate it just eating it whole. Was that, would that be like, what a waste. He just had a little giblet. So this guy is going to be awesome. So we're definitely going, oh my God, apparently he's really tiny. Yeah, that's right. When these guys first came out, I think to save on space, they made all the models like super tiny. Anyway, so wait, I mean, by the time it'll be in the next episode, we should get pretty far on, maybe even a level 30 Phosphoracus, the, the killer bird. Um, and we'll probably max out because we've only got 31 million food, so we max out Dunkleosaurus. And we're gonna have zero food left, so it's gonna be another grind. Whoop. And I'll probably have to go over some creatures like this and just collect their um, their information. So, for instance, like that one. That gave us 300 or 400,000. Alumbia means Dawn Lambiosaurine. The second half of its name comes from the paleontologist that first studied Lambiosaurian fossils. Lawrence Lambu. Or Lamb. Could be Lamb. <laughs> anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like. And until next time, well, I'm going to go and play loads more app games because I've been missing out on them and there's a bunch of stuff in them. Bye-bye. <laughs>